Do you compare yourself? Comparing yourself is a short recipe for spiraling downwards and to not feel confident. Continuing with the theme of confidence, we're going to be talking this time about comparing yourself, which most people get into. A lot of my clients start with me and they start talking about how they compare themselves to others, how someone is better than them, how they're not as good enough as the other person. And that is a sure recipe for a downward spiral. This is Padma from PadmaAli.com. And today we're going to be talking about how to work with with not comparing yourself. Comparing yourself is a sure recipe for feeling n not, what's the other word for confidence? Not feeling confidence, confidence within yourself. Now, if you want to continue feeling, not feeling confident, please go ahead and compare. But comparing yourself never has worked. Let me give you, demonstrate it for you. Think about a time in your life where you compared yourself, anytime. Take a minute, pause this video if you need to, think about when you compared yourself. How did that feel? And you felt like, ugh, I didn't feel like it wasn't like, oh my God, that person is so much better than me. They have so much, they have a better relationship, they have a better career, they have more money, whatever it is that you compared yourself to with that person. Notice how that feels in your body. I bet restrictive, right? That's what happens when we start comparing and we feel not good enough within ourselves. It starts to feel restrictive. Now, when you feel restrictive, can you perform? Can you do anything in life when you feel restrictive? If I compared myself on my video to someone else, I'm like, oh my God, like they are better at what they do or how am I going to do what I'm here to do? If I was supposed to be like that person, I would have been that person. I'm not meant to be that person. And also, we don't know what their path in life is. This is your path, and you're better off sticking in your lane than looking here and looking there. You know, um, I was, you know, my, my little one, she is a big time people watcher. So the other day, like she was doing something. She's very good at, um, she was doing art and she's really good at doing art and she loves it. She was doing by herself. She was on her own. She's doing it. And then my son walks in and he started to do something. Immediately her attention went to like, oh, he's doing that. He is doing this way. I need to do it this way. He is better than, like I could see her. And it starts very young. And this is me coming from very conscious parenting. Even then, this is human nature to compare. I started to see that. She's comparing herself. And then she lost focus on what she was doing, focusing on what he was doing. Again, these are very small real life examples I'm bringing to you because I want you to apply this to your life. She lost focus, right? She then stopped seeing how good she was and started to focus on how good someone else is, losing connection with herself. I pointed that out to her. We worked on it. We, were, we started to talk about how this happens and what can she do to focus back on herself. And then, you know, they're, they're five and eight, they moved on. So they didn't, we didn't spend a lot of time on that, but it, it's a learning opportunity. You will see information around you that is going to help you see things about yourself all the time. So focus in on that. So when you compare, you lose connection with yourself. And that is really key. If you lose connection with yourself, you're not going to be able to bring your gifts to the world. You each have a unique gift that is yours. You are unique. Bring that uniqueness to whatever you're doing. So if you're finding yourself not feeling confident, it's an opportunity to see, and especially if you find yourself comparing, if comparing is a habit. And you know, this is not something, it is, it is a second nature to you. Comparing is something we learn. Think about when you were growing up. How many times have you been like, oh, your parents have said it, maybe even not even meaning to, but saying things like your brother is better, your sister is better. Oh, look at how she's doing it. Look at how he's doing it. That's how we learn to compare. And so the more you can bring awareness to that and stop comparing, your life is going to be a lot more better and you're going to feel a lot confident within yourself. 
If you have any questions, comment in the section below and also subscribe to the channel to deepen this awareness and this knowledge. Please listen to my podcast episode number 91 on confidence and it's Create Your Vibrant Life podcast and I will see you on another video. Thank you.